everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favorite bird, Archie. I'm so excited about today's video because you guys have been asking me to do a Forever 21 haul forever. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of puns in this video. I have been shopping at Forever 21 forever. It feels like forever ago that I went there for the first time and found a bunch of t-shirts on a sale table for $5 each and I spent my entire $30 worth of pocket money on buying a bunch of shirts. Ever since then I have loved the store. Their clothes are stylish, they're cheap, it is fast fashion, there's a constant influx of new designs coming into that store and uh, I was really surprised to see that they are going out of business. Yes, that's right. Forever 21 is not gonna be around forever. They have filed for bankruptcy and they've started closing stores. I believe that there won't be any stores left next year. I'm not certain. I tried to do some research. I found conflicting things in various articles talking about it, but by the looks of it, Forever 21 is uh, on its last legs. I'm really happy with the stuff that I bought in this haul, so if you like any of it, Head into Forever 21, you'll probably get it on sale. I'm sure that there's a lot of sales going on at the moment. Uh, when I bought this stuff, it was when I was in Hawaii, so uh, the announcement hadn't been made yet that Forever 21 was going out of business. And uh, I've had this stuff sitting in the drawer waiting to be filmed, and then I saw the announcement and I was like, well, crap, better film it now before they go out of business, because otherwise no one's gonna benefit from this haul. So without further ado, that's enough talking. I'm gonna show you some accessories first. I don't know what possessed me to buy these. I mean, I do know. Trisha Paytas has these, except they're Gucci. These are Fuji. These were $13. They're actually really well made. They're very, very solid. Excuse me. I don't think I'd ever seriously wear these out in public unless I was driving around in a pink G-Wagon, but uh, maybe Archie might want to wear them. Following the pink theme with the sunglasses, I have a pink belt. This is like one of those sort of jelly belts. You remember those shoes we used to wear? Oh, 90s kids will remember. Half of my audience won't remember, but 90s kids we used to wear jelly sandals and this is that same sort of weird jelly material. It has this interesting... It has this textured silver belt buckle, and uh, this one was $10. I could only get this in a medium to large, so it's a little bit too big for me, but because it's plastic, I'm sure I'll be able to punch some holes in it. That'll be fine. Yes, you can punch holes in it for me, Archie. It wouldn't be a Forever 21 haul without some accessories. I did only pick up this one pair of earrings for this particular video. I do have a second video where I bought like formal dresses and prom dresses, and I've got a bunch of jewelry in that video, but these are the only earrings that I got for this one. As we all know, Archie hates earrings. I'm not allowed to wear them, but I'll try. Can you hold that for me? Thank you. I'm just gonna take this opportunity to ask you guys, I don't normally do this, I normally do this at the end of my videos, but I'm just gonna say it now. Could you please like and subscribe? Normally at the end of the video I say to everyone, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked this video. So I feel a little bit rude asking you to give us a thumbs up already because you haven't even watched it. But I'm interested to see if asking you guys at the start of the video gets me any more likes than I would normally get. Okay, so there's, there's a nice big hoop earrings. What do you think, Archie? Do you like them? Ow, 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 ow. These were $7, so uh... Ew. No, please, okay, I'll take them out. Please just stop. Leave me alone. This next item is so exciting. I have wanted one of these bags for the longest time. I was really very surprised when I found one in Forever 21. It's a beaded bag. How pretty is that? It's like little fake pearls. These are so aesthetic, I guess you could say. There's like a whole trend with little pearls. This is so beautiful. It's actually quite big. I feel like this could hold a lot. It could hold my phone. It could hold my bird. This one was a little bit expensive. It was $30. Now, I actually think that's worth it. 30 US dollars though, that's like 40 something Australian dollars. I still think it's worth it. It's made really well. Uh, no, no, these are pearls, not seed, pearls. Next up, this is so random. They have like a home decor section and this is a peach LED light. Huh. Ah. Okay, so this is adorable. So it hangs up, I believe. So the giant glowing peach hangs up like that and then you can put batteries in here. I don't have any batteries handy. This takes three AA batteries and it was 
$20 and I think $20 is worth it for or actually yeah, it is worth it, but also it's not because I hate things that you have to use batteries for. I wish it would just plug in or if it had like a USB cord or something. That would be so much better. It's just, it's so annoying because with batteries, you can't just leave it on for like days at a time. You have to keep switching it off and you know, the crappy $1 batteries that I tend to buy don't last very long. So it's a little bit of a shame, but still, yeah. What do you guys think? Do you think $20 is worth it? I'll, I'll find some batteries and I'll put in a little shot of what it looks like when it's actually switched on. But uh, let me know if you think this is worth $20. I think it's super adorable and they had these lights in a whole bunch of different designs too. I found an adorable phone case. It's got a tea bag and a mug and it says, I love you so much, -er, which is so adorable. Look at that. This was really cheap. I think it was like $2 or something. I highly recommend the Forever 21 phone cases. They are adorable. I also grabbed a pair of slides. Now they have this entire Pepsi collection. I don't know if any of this will be left. You might be able to find it in the store still. I couldn't resist. I love slides. These were $15. These were $15 for an awesome pair of Pepsi slides that feel like they're made very, very well. I'm so happy with these. Okay, so first up is this Pepsi top. I feel like such a dad wearing this. Button up short sleeve shirts remind me so much of my dad. Uh, he loves Hawaiian shirts. This is kind of like the uh, American version of a Hawaiian shirt, I guess you could say. This is very, very, very long. It's a super long shirt. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Billie Eilish. This would look nice tucked into a pair of jeans, but I really like to tie up my button-up shirts. This one was $25, and uh, I'll tell you what, it feels really, really good. It's a really thick fabric. A lot of button-up shirts that I've bought in the past, they're really thin fabric and they feel really, really cheap, but this one feels really good. What do you guys think? Do you like this style? I don't know how I would style this. Maybe a bucket hat and some high-waisted jeans or something? Biker shorts even? If you like left it long and put biker shorts underneath it? I don't own any biker shorts. None. That's probably something I should invest in. Maybe I should do like an Insta baddie haul or something. Okay, don't worry guys. I promise I have some adorable pretty pastel things coming up. I just want to get this Pepsi stuff out of the way first. This is another really long graphic shirt. This one is a little bit more 90s, it's really retro. Maybe not 90s, maybe even 80s? No, I think 90s. This reminds me of like Windows 95, Windows 98, like the advertising for that. It's got all sorts of crazy wild prints all over it. This is another one, maybe a black bucket hat, black chunky sneakers, black biker shorts. That could be really, really cool, but uh, for now, at least you guys can see, I look like a, a retro aesthetic dad. This one was also $25, but it doesn't feel as good as the other shirt that I just showed you. That one was much thicker than this one. This next one is nothing crazy. Uh, it's a plain white t-shirt that's got girls supporting girls. I think that's what it says. Yes. No. No, ba what? What does that say? Babes supporting babes in rainbow font. We got this because my friends Millie and Tiasha, they have a channel called The Marshmallow Girls, and their slogan for their channel is basically girls supporting girls. And I was in Hawaii with Tiasha, and she saw this shirt, and she was like, we need to get one for each of us. So... What, bir birds supporting birds? Is that what you want? This is maybe like a 2 or 3XL. This was in the clearance section. They didn't have any smaller sizes, but I like that. It'll, I'll probably wear it as a sleep shirt or maybe tucked into jeans, but I feel like tucking this into jeans, there would just be way too much excess fabric. But yeah, this is really cute. Literally $5. Could have even been $2, I can't remember. This was super cheap, so... Nice plain white tee. Okay, so next up is this $10 t-shirt. I think this is really, really cute. It's a uh, Enjoy Cherry Coke. Adorable shirt. This was $10. It feels really, really cheap. I got a t-shirt off Wish and it was the best quality. It was the most amazing fabric. This, this feels like something from Wish. Like it feels very, very cheap. This is like a $5 t-shirt. You know, like if you go to the sales section and you pick things out for one, two, three, four, five dollars you get this sort of thing there. It's probably $10 because it's got Coke, which I assume is a, a, a licensed brand. <laughs> but uh, I've put this with these jeans. Now these jeans are really strange. These are $30 jeans and they've got these uh, like two ribbons on the side. Absolutely no idea what to do with these ribbons because the way that the fabric kind of folds makes it seem as though they're meant to go backwards because when you try and fold it forwards, it doesn't sit right. And also the zip is exposed on the side. So I kind of, hey, no, excuse you. <laughs> so I'm guessing that the ribbon is supposed to go around the back, but I've never seen jeans with a bow at the back. I really don't know. Like that just, that doesn't seem right to me that it does up like that. That, that can't be right. Is that right? I, what do you guys 
think. I don't know, that's so weird. I would almost think it should maybe do up at, no, not at the side. That wouldn't make any sense. I don't know, I just don't understand what I'm supposed to do with them. But they do have a really, really nice wide leg. I have long legs and these come right down to my ankles. Sometimes when I buy long, wide jeans, they don't come down long enough and they look a bit awkward. But I think that the length of these is great, but I just, I really don't know what I think about this bow situation. Okay, while I'm wearing this t-shirt, I want to show you guys the coolest windbreaker ever. Now this was $30. I love these retro sportswear trends. It's not really on brand for me, you know, with the whole pretty pastel please thing. I have a lot of pastel windbreakers though. This one's a little bit bold for me. I just think it's so cool. Look at that. How cool is that? I, I do think you could probably pick something like this up in a thrift store very, very easily. I have seen so many vintage or, or retro looking windbreakers in thrift stores, but when I saw this hanging up at Forever 21, I couldn't resist. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's slippery. It is a bit short though, like it's it's cropped. It comes up to just your waist basically. So it's not really gonna keep you warm from the wind because when the wind hits your kidneys, that's the worst and this doesn't really cover your kidneys. But style wise, I think it's awesome. $30, yeah, I think it's worth it. I think it's really, really cool. Wait there, no, no, you stay there. You stay, ah. stay there. No, 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 I'm trying to get changed. Okay, so this top was $15. Yes, it does have green on it. Very exciting. I love little tiny tops like this. Only problem is I don't really know what sort of bra I should wear with it just because the straps stick out. You don't really get halter neck bras. So I guess probably a strapless bra would have to go under one of these. I couldn't resist the colors because it's like a, a pastel green and a blue and a pink and it's so pretty. And the jeans that I'm wearing this top with are the coolest jeans ever. This is without a doubt my favorite purchase from Forever 21. Oh, actually there's there's one other thing that's really, really cool. So this is maybe my second favorite purchase, but these are high-waisted jeans. They zip up like that. They don't have any buttons. They don't have any belt hoops, unfortunately. I would have liked that, but it does make for a, quite a clean silhouette coming all the way up here. They're really, really long. They have a super wide boot cut at the bottom. They do have pockets on the back, luckily. I would have been very, very annoyed if they didn't. You need pockets somewhere for your phone, so you can check Instagram every five seconds. And these were only $12. I got these on a sale rack. You know the section of Forever 21 where absolutely everything is reduced and there's like a little red tag on everything. There's a little red circle on these. So these were $30 and they came down to 12 and they were the only ones on the rack and they just so happened to be the perfect size for me. I literally adore them. I'm going to live in these. I so wish that these came in a lighter wash as well because I really like light wash jeans. It sort of matches more of my wardrobe, but still, I think they're incredible. Love the length of them. They're so beautiful and they're gonna look really good with all these tops that I'm trying on. Okay, so this top is really, really cute. It's very, very fuzzy. It's fuzzy like a teddy bear. Like, it's super, super soft. It almost feels like, um, oh, I don't know how to describe it. You know that fabric that when you rub it in one direction, it's super, super smooth and you push it up the other way and it's a little bit coarse, but when you, when you push it down it's so soft and plush so this is a really really very warm top this was $18 I really love striped tops I think they're adorable it's quite short it just fits under the hem of the jeans I don't know about how it matches the jeans but I was very excited to show you guys this top I really like the high neckline love the bold ah. love the bold colors I think it's so adorable $18 I think it's worth it just because the fabric is so incredibly soft, but it's awkward with shirts like this because it's too warm to be a summer t-shirt. There's absolutely no way in the world you could wear this t-shirt in summer because it's so warm. But then also, I don't know how you'd go wearing it in winter because the sleeves are short. So tell me what you guys do in these sort of predicaments. Do you wear things like this in the summer and just sweat it out? Or do you wear them in the winter and you just wear coats and stuff? But if you wear a coat, then you're covering the adorable stripes. It's very complicated and difficult. Fashion is hard. Fashion is very hard. Okay, I was so happy when I found this one. This is a little bustier boob tube kind of top. Pastel pink with white, checkered. It was $15. This is kind of, I guess, the Insta baddie kind of trend. Imagine skinny sunglasses, pink bucket hat. Again, you'd have to wear a strapless bra with this. I've just kind of pushed my bralette straps down inside for the sake of being lazy and not wanting to switch bras, I'm sorry. But yeah, I couldn't resist when I saw this one. The colors, anything that's pink and white, I just, I go nuts ah. for. Yeah, and green too. We do like green. Green is good. Okay, next up we have a good old mesh top. Now, um, this one, obviously, because it's a mesh top, uh, well, yeah, I have a bralette on underneath, but I'll probably pop a t-shirt on so I can remove my hands. 
We don't want to anger Susan. Okay, so like I said, this top came from the sports section and the best part about it is thumb holes! Thumb holes! I'm obsessed with long sleeves that have thumb holes. Literally the best thing ever. Look, I just I just love it. I love it so much. So obviously I just put a little t-shirt on over the top so you can see what the sleeves look like. So I guess I just paid $10 for some purple sleeves because that's the only way that I'm ever going to wear it. I'm always going to wear it under a t-shirt. So if you don't mind paying $10 for purple sleeves, head to Forever 21 and look in the active wear section. This mesh top came in a bunch of colors. I think they had black and they had neon colors like green and yellow and all sorts of things. But obviously I got the purple. Obviously. Okay, I love this next dress. This is a green corduroy dress. This was $15. This would look so sweet with a little plain white t-shirt underneath. Now, obviously it's green, so uh, that makes for a happy birdo. What do you think, Archie? Oh, you like it, do you? Oh, yes. <laughs> I really like the length of this. It sits really nicely. It's not too short on me. Sometimes because of the length of my torso, ah. dresses can be really, really short on me, but I really like the length of this. It's really nice. We are coming into summer in ah. Australia, so I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. I'm going to mix and match, try it on with a whole bunch of different things throughout summer. I'll wear t-shirts underneath it and mesh things. You can even wear t-shirts over the top. You know what? Maybe I should start doing styling videos. I can think of so many ways that I would style this dress. Yes. Yes, I'm gonna do it. This dress has inspired me. Green is a good colour, Archie. Green is a positive colour. Green is the colour... Okay, right. Okay, yeah. okay, so this little cherry t-shirt was $8. This was actually in the kids section, I believe. I went up the escalators to the top floor and it was right there in front of me. It's like the staff knew that I was in the store and they just put it there. There was just one of this t-shirt. <laughs> There was just one of this t-shirt hanging on a rack immediately next to the escalator and I saw it and I was like I need it. Put it in my basket, continued to walk through the aisle and uh, I think that it was a kids section. But anyway, no complaints from me and I'm pairing this little shirt with my favourite item of this entire video, potentially even one of the best items that I've ever bought in the duration of my time on YouTube. That's a big claim, but uh, I'm interested to see what you guys think because it is a suede pinafore dress that I have to try and get into without disturbing Archie. Don't chew on that. I need that. Can you not? Okay, so this little pinafore dress was $23. It is the nicest thickest material. It's a suede material and it's really, really thick and so soft to touch. It's got two huge pockets on the front. Major thumbs up from me because as we know I absolutely adore pockets. Pockets make everything a thousand times better. When I saw this I, bless you, hyperventilated basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a really really nice shape the way that it sort of tucks in at the waist here, and it's kind of like an a-line skirt I love it. I love this so much literally one of my favorite things ever I'm gonna wear the heck out of this I think it looks really really cute with this little pink t-shirt underneath But definitely a plain Hi. white t-shirt under this or even a colored mesh top a turtleneck Oh a white turtleneck under this would be so nice. It's adorable. I love it Am I crazy in saying that this is one of the best things ever? I just because of how it feels, uh -huh. I think that's why. If it felt really cheap, like something from Romwe or Shein or something like that, then I would probably say, yeah, no, not one of the best. Uh -huh. Hello, yes. <laughs> but it just feels so good and I love it so much and I'm so, so happy with this one. So, uh, yay. <laughs> Not so sure how I feel about this next dress. This is a $15 dress. It, it looks really, really nice on the hanger. It's got a really nice shape, but also it's incredibly, Hi. incredibly sheer. Now I am wearing blue undies under this. Now obviously some of you guys are going to be thinking, why are you wearing coloured underwear Hi. when you're doing a try on haul? I like to wear brightly coloured things underneath the clothes to give you guys like a visual idea of how thick or thin the fabric is. So if you guys Hi. can see that on camera, then you can sort of get an idea of like, oh yes, that is a very thin, sheer kind of fabric versus if I was wearing nude undies and I was like, oh, you know, this is kind of sheer, you wouldn't really be able to tell the extent of Hi. the sheerness. So that's, that's why. But yeah, this is so sheer that you'd have to be careful what you wear underneath it. I like the length. It's a really good length. I like the length of the sleeves too. Best part about it for me ah. is the stripes. I think the stripes are super cute. The fact that they're green, yellow, and pink. 
adorable. This was a very last minute purchase. I saw it as I was about to check out and it was one of those like, oh, I've got all of this stuff. I may as well just grab that one too. It does have that little bit of green. So Archie should be happy. There's green for Archie, pink for me. Ah. You, yes, you like it. Okay, this next piece is another one from the Pepsi collection. This is a $15 tank top. It has this rubber textured Pepsi logo on here, which is very, very retro. I remember back in the day when I was young, so many things had rubbery logos on them. Look, Pepsi. I love that so much of the stuff from the Pepsi collection was like pastel colored. I have this one, I have a couple of pastel shirts as well from the collection still to come. I really like little cropped tanks like this. I have a similar one from Dolls Kill. This one is not as comfortable. This one, it's the same size, but this is a, a stretchier fabric. This is like a really stiff fabric. This is quite nice and stretchy, so it's really easy to wear. I have paired this with these corduroy pants. These are so cool. These were from the sale rack again, and they were only $12 once again, which is absolutely amazing. I love how they're high-waisted. The bottoms are folded up right now, but I can unpick those and then get a bit extra length, which means that when I wear high heels, these are gonna be super long trousers that'll cover my shoes. I love that sort of look. My only issue with these is even though they're corduroy and you expect corduroy to be a thick fabric, as you can see from the colored undie test, you can see through them. I mean, I don't know if you guys will be able to see on camera, but I can see clear as day. <laughs> That's right, my bum is doing peekaboo, yes. I can see when I look in the mirror that they are quite sheer. I can see straight through them and I can see the blue undies. Not a problem if you wear the right colored undies, it doesn't matter. But it does make me sort of question the quality of the corduroy because I have a bunch of other corduroy pants and you can't see through any of them. So it does make me wonder like, why is this sheer corduroy? How does that happen? Corduroy is such a thick fabric. Well, actually, it's probably because it's fake corduroy. Imitation corduroy, that's it. But anyway, for $12, I cannot complain. I should only be saying positive things about this. Bless you. They're really, really cool pants. And I think paired with this lilac top, I love this look. I love the combination of the creamy color and the purple. I think it's so nice. And speaking of purple. Bye. This is another one from the Pepsi collection. This was $18. It's a cropped tee. I love this design so much. This is just taking me back to my childhood. It makes me think of my mom. Hello, mom. I know you're watching. It reminds me of when mom used to wear all these sort of retro t-shirts. My mom had a huge collection of retro t-shirts that had literally prints just like this all over them from the 90s. I just, I'm obsessed with clothes like this. I love stores that sell these sort of clothes. Part of the reason I'm so sad that Forever 21 is closing is because... I mean, this is a great place to get this stuff and it's really cheap and it's stylish, but yeah, they're, they're going out of business. So I would suggest get in there and try and buy up the Pepsi collection if you can, if there's any of it left. I don't know if there is or not. But the good thing is that there's always Depop. You know, people are always gonna sell stuff. So if none of this stuff is left, I would recommend looking for it secondhand too. I buy a lot of stuff off Depop and I'm pretty good at finding the things that I want. If I see something on someone and it's out of stock on the website, I just keep searching and keep searching. Two years is the longest that I kept searching for. Sorry to get sidetracked, but I spent two years looking for these Jeffrey Campbell shoes online. They were limited edition. It took me two years of searching. I set a Google alert and I put the name of them, the Jeffrey Campbell, I think they were called like Alien Boot or something. Two years I had a Google alert set and they kept popping up every so often for sale on eBay and Depop and Gumtree and all that, but never in my size. Two years later, I finally got them in my size. I wore these all the time when I was a major emo goth. The moral of the story is that if you see something online that you really like and it's sold out, it's not gone forever. You might find it one day, maybe even in 10 years time, maybe in 30 years time when the piece is considered retro when it's from 2019 and uh, the youngins are calling it retro. Maybe you'll find it on eBay one day. <laughs> this top makes me so happy. I cannot begin to explain to you how happy this makes me. This is a PlayStation top. So it's got the PlayStation logo here and it's got all the control buttons there. It's got in katakana, which is uh, the Japanese version of writing foreign, foreign words, basically. It says PlayStation in rainbow katakana, which I think is so cool. I love it. And on the back even, on the back, it's got a, a PlayStation print as well. I love the length of it. It's a really, really nice length top and it's super cozy too. It's a very, very comfortable top. This was $20. I think it's worth every cent, especially because PlayStation is a Sony trademark. So they must have got a trademark permission or whatever that's called to be able to sell this. And uh, I've paired it with this adorable skirt. 
This skirt is so sweet. It's covered in little tiny daisies. This came in blue and pink, and uh, you guys know, of course, I got both. These skirts. You're right. These skirts were $15 each, and the print that's on them, they're these teeny, teeny, tiny little daisies. I originally was just gonna get the blue one, and I was gonna give the pink one a pass, but when I saw they were $15 each, I was like, nah, goodbye money. I think that the, the length and the fit of this skirt is really, really nice. It's not too short on me. Like, hey, like, excuse me. No. They're kind of like a fake denim. It's not exactly denim, it, it's like 90% feels like denim, but also it's very, very stretchy, so it's like a fake denim, but it's not like jegging material because that's super elastic. It's not super elastic, but it's just elastic -y enough that it's got like a little, little bit of stretch in it like that. So here's the pink one on. It's adorable. <laughs> I'm gonna get so much wear out of these skirts. I love that they're not too short. I love that they're not too tight. They're nice and stretchy so you can actually move your legs and it's not gonna sort of stop you or restrict you from walking. But yeah, I can't get enough of this top. This top is one of my favorite printed things that I own now. This next skirt is actually a denim skirt, unlike the others that were like sort of weird fake elastic -y denim. This is an actual denim skirt, so there's no give. It's also a little bit shorter than the others. This is like considerably short. I could not bend over wearing this skirt, but I love the stripes. So nice. This skirt, the colors are perfect. It's like a yellow and a pink and a blue. And then there's a dark blue stripe, which I will have to forgive. I can't always have everything 110% pastel. I love this. I love that it's got belt holes. That's very important for me. I love being able to put belts in my skirts. So I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. Ah, oh, so happy. This skirt, did I tell you how much it was? $23, worth every single cent of that $23. This is so nice. Okay, and this last one, I think Archie is going to adore. Yes, it is a green two-piece set. Now, this didn't come as a set. Each of these pieces were $18 and they're sold separately. But uh, this is another one from the Pepsi collection. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera. It's this really, really unusual textured fabric and it's got Pepsi all the way, the whole way around it. It ties up here and the skirt... Claws on skin hurts! <laughs> kind of reminds me of 90s uh, athletic leisure wear. I think that's what you call it. I'm torn about this one. I want to like it, but also I don't know if I like sporty wear. You know, it's it's not necessarily my cute, sweet kind of aesthetic, but it is a really unique piece. I haven't seen much like this where you get like a two piece. This is like a really pastel minty colored green, which I really, really like. And I love the Pepsi logo all over it too. Don't know how much wear I'll get out of this. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think I should wear this? I can't imagine what I would wear this out with. I guess Bless you. White sneakers, bucket hat. I have literally said, just wear a bucket hat with it like five times throughout this video. Is that just my style solution to everything? Just put a bucket hat on. Go to the shops, put on a bucket hat. Going out to the movies, put on a bucket hat. Anyway, tell me how you guys would style this because at the moment, like, I feel like I could go play tennis in this quite easily, but I don't know how I could make this fashionable. I'm not entirely sure, but at least it's green. So that's it guys, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. You can head over to my Instagram, which is Pretty Pastel Please, and give me a follow there to uh, stay up to date with how I style some of these outfits. Are you gonna go shopping at uh, Forever 21 and grab up some bargains before they close forever? Are you sad that they're closing forever? What do you think the next fashion giant is going to be after Forever 21? I wonder if it's gonna be Brandy Melville. I hope not because, no, that's right. Yeah, one size fits most. I have a Brandy Melville haul coming out soon. I have some not so nice things to say about good old Brandy in that video. But anyway, which shop do you think is gonna rise up and take the place of Forever 21? I mean, there's H&M, which is a similar price range. I would say Zara, but Zara's a lot more expensive, I think, than Forever 21. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen from here. But uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think below. And uh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!